LED modules can be wired in several different ways depending on the applications they are used for. Today we will be explaining these differences. There are two types of modules, either constant voltage or constant current. Along with these two module types, there are three wires for them to be wired. They can be wired in either series, parallel, or series parallel configuration. In series wiring configurations, the current of the modules will remain constant, while the forward operating voltage of the LEDs will increase with each module added. Because of this added voltage, one must ensure that the total forward voltage of the module does not exceed the voltage of the driver. Wiring will be done from positive of the driver output to positive of the first module in the chain, then negative from the first module to the positive of the second. This chain will continue until the last module, in which the negative of that module will return to the negative of the driver. Parallel wiring configurations are the simplest form of wiring since all positive terminals and all negative terminals of the modules and drivers will be tied together. In this wiring configuration, voltage must be identical in the modules to ensure proper current distribution amongst them. With ideal module voltages, the output current of the LED driver will be split even by the number of modules in the chain. Please note that these wiring configurations are not recommended for constant current module applications because failure of one module will cause all the current to redirect to the remaining modules. These are best recommended for constant voltage applications. Series parallel wiring is the most complex as it is a combination of the two. This combination works when having modules that have specifications outside of the limits of the LED driver, and you want to still be able to use them. By adding modules in series and splitting the current in parallel, you can ensure to meet voltage range limits and use drivers with higher output current without exceeding module current limits. Power calculations should always be used to ensure that the total voltage and current of the system will not exceed the power limitations of the LED driver. Contact Fulham with any questions. And please remember to follow Fulham on LinkedIn to never miss an update.